When you think of a healthy workstation, you probably think of one of those desks that you can sit or stand at. Standing desks are pretty cool and their health benefits sound promising, but is standing all day really better for your health? Whether it's being stuck in a traffic jam or working in your office, plenty of us are sitting down most of the time. 9 out of 10 Malaysian workers spend at least 6 hours a day sitting at our desks, according to a survey done by Herbalife in 2016. The Malaysian Adult Nutritional Survey in 2003 also found that Malaysian adults spend at least 41% of their day in a sitting position. This brings up problems of low physical activity, which makes 1 out of 3 Malaysians overweight as of 2014, according to Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin, who was Deputy Prime Minister at the time. It also brings along work-related musculoskeletal disorders, or WMSD, as sitting increases pressure to your lower back compared to standing. In other words, back pains. When you're tired and not paying attention to your posture, but you're paying attention more on your work, what happens is you start sitting like this. Lah. When you lean back like that, for for example, you put a lot of pressure on your low back spine over here. You put a lot of pressure on your wrist, neck. When your knees are too straight like that, you also put pressure on your knee. So basically, there's a lot of pressure on the spine where you're not sitting in the right posture. Another example. That's me. So, so <laughs> in this photo, <laughs> Uh, what's happening is you're leaning way too far forward. So what happens is you put a lot of pressure into the spine in different places. So as a chiropractor, uh, I see a lot of patients with spine and joint issues and poor ergonomics is one of the main causes of it. Uh. So to combat this, companies are producing ergonomic office furniture like keyboards, mice and most notably standing desks. The idea is simple. We sit for too long, so let's stand instead while also getting work done. The act of standing supposedly improves your posture because it enables the neck, back, and hip muscles to be activated, hence preventing the muscles from weakening. But how true is that, really? It is true. You will engage your muscles more standing than sitting down because you have to hold and balance yourself. If you're sitting on a high executive chair where you can lean back and rest your head, of course, you're not engaging the muscles as much. Huh? That can be a pro, that can be a con. As Mark Twain said, too much of a good thing is bad. Using a standing desk is like any other intervention. It can come with side effects. When they first entered the market, they were branded as a weight loss method. But a research done by the Journal of Physical Activity and Health in 2016 found that using a standing desk for 3 hours only brings an extra 24 calories, which is equivalent to a carrot. So as far as weight loss is concerned, they may not be super helpful in that area. And standing all day can cause leg cramps, vascular issues, as well as muscle and joint pains, which are health risks associated with prolonged standing. Although standing desks are designed so that your computer screen will be at eye level to save you from neck and back strains, most tend to forget about the other problems. Just because you stand up and use your computer on a table that's higher up doesn't automatically mean all your problems go away. When you are standing like this, eye level is perfect, but the issue now is in the shoulder. So you can see when you bend your wrist like this, this is definitely going to lead to things like carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, that's what I have. Yeah, that's when you have numbness <laughs> in your fingers. You know, if you use computers a lot and you're angling your wrist at that angle for so many hours is bound mm -hmm. to injure the muscles, the ligaments, the nerve, even the bones, basically yep. the joint there. At the end of the day, back aches and pains are all linked to the same things. Bad posture and staying in one position for too long. That's why some startups have created electric sit-stand desks that let you sit when you feel tired and stand when you feel like you've been sitting for too long. But because these smart desks aren't cheap, you could fix these problems without one too, by adjusting your workstation and taking routine breaks. A senior lecturer in physiotherapy from University Tunku Abdul Rahman said you could sit up straight with your head positioned so that your ears are over your shoulders, with your feet planted firmly on the floor while using your computer. Every 20 to 30 minutes, actually, you should be moving already. When I say move, it means getting up, leaving your workstation, go to the toilet, get some water, uh, stretch a little bit. It's really up to you. The important thing is you have to move. And most smartwatches and phone apps have functions to remind you to move around to get your blood flowing so that you don't stay idle for too long. Be sure to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, let us know in the comments about what other topics you'd like us to take a look into.